Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with another special, special, special edition of Conversation Corner. Man, the day is really going by fast. I can't believe it's already mid-afternoon. I've done a number of things. And just some of the, uh, the studies that I've been doing lately, being that, you know, I, I really like education and I like learning, even though I'm a college dropout, you know, a teenage parent and things like that. But I did work in a corporate world for almost 20 years and throughout that time period of going through the ups and downs, I was able to learn a lot. And I've always had that inquisitive type mentality. Um, I like listening because I do believe listening is a skill. But I also like to learn. And I like to find out why people think and do the things that they do. I like to know why you thought that way. What caused you to think like that? So with that, I found a, a, a book or a, a video, a audio right, rather, by a, a man named Henry Harris Brown and it's called Dollars Want Me The New Road to Opulence The New Road to Opulence Dollars Want Me by uh, Henry Harris Brown and he has some really unique um, thought patterns when it comes to money and how to mentally prepare yourself as well as go through the process of bringing money into you so in essence attracting money and as I talk about these things some of them you know, and, and I'm going to make this a really quick two, three part series um, of videos discussing some of the areas and some of the topics that he brought up. But it's really interesting to see. And, and I believe this is from the early 1900s. Uh, so this guy's he's, he's been around for a while. I'm pretty sure he's passed away by now. But, you know, taking in consideration that this was his thought pattern way back when. And, you know, just to get right into it, he was like. You regard money as a power only for business, just to keep business going. And that's it. And he says, you welcome its coming, meaning money, but you also rejoice when it leaves. So now he's playing a mind game and he's telling you that it's okay to have a mental and a, 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 a thought pattern that's necess a necessity or a requirement when it comes to money. So he says... You are the power. See, what we've done over the years is allowed the powers that be to make the money the power, in essence, make money to be out of God. Well, this guy, Mr. Brown, is saying that, no, you're the power. It's not the money. He says the money has only been delegated the power, which is like we said, we've made money into a God, where it's really not like that. And so he says it's, it's not about the almighty dollar. It's about the almighty power. OK, so take the power away from the dollar. And one of the ways that he suggests that we do that is, is you tell it, I don't need you. And in, in essence, you're having a conversation with the money. I don't need you. You need me. So I'm telling the dollar you don't. I don't need you. You need me. You need me. And you are no use until my brains and my hands use you. Otherwise, money is just a piece of paper. And, and let's not forget that money is just a means of exchange, you know, it, and that's what it's for. That It's just a piece of paper and it just happens to be a means of exchange for right now in the way which we use it. And it's losing in its value every day. And I know all of us have seen that. But when he says that, he said, you wish to be used and you come to me to be used, you know, meaning money. It attracts to you. I don't need you. And the dollar needs me. And he wants you to say this on a regular basis so you won't get caught up in putting the almighty dollar on a certain level. He also had something else where he's like, idle dollars go to work for me. This is something that he said, idle dollars go to work for me. Go out, circulate, pay debt, pay wages, help other people, but come back to me when I need you. Come back to me when I need you because you're otherwise you're useless. And you have no value until you are of need, until you go to work. So go out and work. Go out and circulate. People will spend money. He said, I remember something else that he said, and I'll bring it up in one of the other videos. But, you know, I wanted to say this quote that I really thought was special. Um, and once you join on with me, you'll see that this is one of the contexts or one of the things that I like to talk about is the mental aspect of, of this whole world, this whole thought pattern, what we've gotten ourselves into. And we have to break that cycle and break those chains and come out of that. 
But this is something that's really key that he put, and I'm going to have to look down a little bit because I didn't memorize it all the way. But he's like, a thought of righteousness of spending, a thought of righteousness of spending stands guard over my money. A thought of righteousness of spending stands guard over my Monday money, and I send it forth with a blessing. Wow. A thought of righteousness of spending stands guard over my money and I send it out or I send it forth with my blessings. Really take a listen to that. That's some serious stuff right there. Really, um, and it gets you to think more when it comes to our thought patterns when it, in, in pertaining to money. So do me a favor, click the link below. Watch this video again. Give me an idea. Make some comments. Hit me up. Click the link below. Let's get going and start playing some game. Uh, stop playing these games with our lives and our time and our family. How much do you really love your family? How much do you want to change your life and make some addition to your life? Mentally, physically, positively, whatever. Talk to you soon. Peace.